okay welcome to another video it's been a while this is a magazine article I've been uh, reading it's available on the radio history website and this was provided by popular wireless and it's a valve experimenters handbook and describes um, things that was done back in around about 1925 in fact the actual boot was uh, with popular wireless in October the 10th 1985, uh, 1925 so it describes the circuits and what was available to the early radio enthusiasts so I've built this a one valve with reaction or regenerative or whatever you want to call it the valve is an old um, 210HL from COSA some caps of the period I'm not going to put my fingers in I've got about 150 volts on there at the moment and uh, provision for another socket for another valve there it's, um, it's a very basic circuit This is a circuit. Let's see if we can get it in shot. Come on, there, it's in shot. And uh, as I say, 210 HL. It runs on a 2 volt filament battery. And uh, what I've actually used is some of the modern uh, Cyclone cells, 2 5 amperes. Sorry, no, it's, yeah, 2 5 ampere batteries to give me 10 amps. The valve itself only takes about 100 milliamps, so it's not an issue. Um, basic circuit HT comes in 2 microfarad um, a 7 nanofarad we've got an RF choke going to the anode we've had a, a transformer fitted in here I don't have any high impedance um, headphones so I'm having to use a low impedance uh, normal pair of headphones or in this case for this video feed it to a, an audio amplifier so I'm using uh, an old radio transformer. We have a filament rheostat at the bottom. And I've used all the old symbols for resistors because I'm talking of a 1920s design. Um, and it's a very basic thing. It's um, aerial in on the side, a loading capacitor. Uh, adjust how much um, loading I actually put into the circuit. Um, resident L and C. 300 puff capacitor onto the grid, a grid leak of 2 meg and from the chalk side via a 300 puff variable capacitor a reaction coil. So not much to it. Um, I checked the HT at 150 volts was giving around about 5 milliamps. So we're not talking a lot of power going into this thing which is why it's not going to drive any speakers. Um, but it's it's good it works I was very surprised I'm trying to do this so stopping me buying a 1920s radio I really do have enough stuff but I wanted to have a play with some of the old vinyls I had so this was a story two cyclone batteries smoothing cap transformer uh, a one nan across the transformer and a chalk um, that's a 7 nanofarad it was probably meant to be in, uh, a 10 nanofarad at one point um, so it does dampen the top end of it a little bit the valve, a grid leak capacitor is down here that's a ten, uh, 2 meg that's a 300 puff from the coil and the uh, coil and the tuning cap this other coil here on the outside is the reaction coil down here at the beginning at the front that's the reaction capacitor in fact I'll just uh, change the camera angle and get around the front two seconds okay very basic uh, woodworking skills um, that's the filament rheostat phones go into there that's my reaction capacitor um, tuning capacitor 
I could do with a slow motion drive on it but it's only a mock up and the aerial loading is here what I'm doing to give some audio so that the camera can actually hear it is drive it to an amplifier that I've used in the past this one which is a homemade valve amp which is connected to the phone socket as I say it's okay normally on phones headphones but it's certainly not loud enough for you to actually hear on the camera um, all it actually needs is the filament uh, control has an off position so if I actually start to pull on the filament you start to get some audio two volts would be right up here don't need to have uh, full two volts it, it works it's one of the uh, dull emitter valves so let's have a tune I think at the moment we're listening to talk sport I'll tell you what I'll start off as always tuning from the beginning find a signal Take down the aerial loading a bit so it's not uh, not loading the circuit up. Gives a little bit more Q and re peak and then bring on reaction. If I take the reaction too far, but it's a sweep spot just before it starts to, uh, to oscillate. Drop the filament down a bit. I tend to use that as a volume control. Let's go find somewhere else. If there is another. Too much. there's no real selectivity with these radios it is purely what you can actually get the cue of the first tune circuit going to something there too low though bit of a weak signal for this thing it does need a good external wire um, so I'm actually using a 20 meter dipole at the moment both the inner and outer I'm into the uh, bottom end of the short wave there now so let's try and go back that's fine talk sport again our exchange price you can be certain oh, adverts better keep off them otherwise I'll get uh, complaints let's see if they're talking yet take their wind free range it's clever text it's cool air evenly around the room keeping you cool no nope, we're into adverts so cold So, I mean, it's not bad. Let's turn it down and off. That's the heater off, and which stops all the HT current. So, it's not bad for a single valve, 1920s valve. The, uh, I think it's a, say, a Cossa 210 HL. Um, I have a few of those sort of things I picked up recently. 
been a fun project it's not the neatest project I'll admit minding my fingers because I've still got HT on the inside I'll tell you what I'll put the camera back up again there we go back up again um, second valve socket is already fitted the idea is to actually put in um, a small audio amplifier valve or uh, low frequency valve and to give a bit of oomph to drive a speaker um, the speakers though in those days were generally high impedance speakers sometimes a moving iron not a moving coil um, probably only about um, quarter watt or half a watt type thing used a, a big horn if I can come up with something the plan is I say I shall make it into uh, a two valver change a few components around add a few more uh, move the transformer around so I can actually drive something a bit different just a project just something to uh, keep me sanity and it's fun um, this one here is uh, the main tuning coil the one on the former that's something I just wound myself as you can pick up these things still from the likes of eBay and stuff like that but it's uh, been an interesting little project to find out what radio was like in um, the 1920s and to try and try and find out what it was what the feeling was like to hear some of the old first signals I know it's very difficult to understand now but it's medium wave and long wave are uh, being unpopulated shall we say in the UK uh, with BBC and the rest of the other stations actually stopping transmission it is getting a little bit more and more easy to pick up um, well shall we say harder to pick up local stations so um, probably a bit better for this type of thing because they're not all jumbled together next to each other so it's, it's per se, been a fun project, hope you like watching and if it encourages anybody else to have a, a bit of a try and build some simple one valve, one transistor, one whatever receivers it's still possible thanks for watching <laughs>